Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody. On today's episode, Seasons is officially here. I have my first impressions of the game. Many new trailers are hitting the web for video games and movies, and you can bet I'm talking about it. And can cats skydive? First thing I have to talk about today is, of course, The Sims 3 Seasons. Having launched just yesterday, The Sims 3 Seasons brings just that, Seasons, to your game. I only had the chance to play for a few hours yesterday, and I can really say that it does add a whole new level to any world in your game. My first impressions to the game were quite good. It includes everything you would expect in a weather and seasons-based game. I really only got far enough to see a rainstorm in the game, but heck, even that looked good. And all of the effects in the game worked perfectly together to make it truly feel like it was raining in the game. Also, I did have a chance to see an alien in my game, so that was pretty cool. I'll have my full review of The Sims 3 Seasons on Friday's episode of Now. And from one video game to another. Rockstar Games has just released their second trailer for the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto V, and it looks pretty freaking great. Following the continued sag of the Grand Theft Auto games before it, this game looks to bring the current game technology to the world of fast-paced cars and interesting medical deals. From what I've seen in the trailer, it looks like a really, really nice game. The graphics are consistent with other video games you would see these days, but then again, all of the footage in the trailer was pre-rendered, meaning that it was cutscenes in the game. It looks as though there's no actual gameplay in the video, but then again, I could be incorrect. Why not check the trailer out for yourself? There's a link to it in the description below with all the other links to today's topics in this episode. So from the world of fast-paced cars, drug deals, and whatever else you find in the Grand Theft Auto games, we move on to the magical world not seen for many, many years. Disney is taking us back, back before even Dorothy. They're taking us back to Oz. Yep, if you haven't seen it already, you're missing out a little bit because it's the next big movie from Disney and it looks to be continuing the theme of amazing movies that they create. Oz the Great and Powerful is a prequel to The Wizard of Oz, the great classic from the past. In this film, Disney is showing us all just how that one man became the Wizard of Oz. With James Franco taking on the main lead role of the entire movie, playing the wizard, you can just tell from the trailer that he's going to be a perfect fit. Between his acting and Disney's amazing animation, I can already predict this film is going to be a hit. You can check out the awesome trailer for this film in the description below, or of course, you can see it on the big screen on March 8th, 2013. <laughs> Continuing the theme of today's show all about entertainment, we move from the big screen to the small screen. I ran across this crazy commercial today while browsing the web and I just had to share it with all of you. Now, I have absolutely no idea what they're trying to sell in this commercial, but hey, the only thing I care about is this. Yep, that's a cat skydiving. It's pretty funny to see, but I'm gonna take a good guess here and say that these cats aren't actually skydiving. Instead, it probably just looks like they're skydiving due to some awesome computer animation. But hey, bravo to the people who put this together. Unfortunately, I have no idea what you're trying to sell. This is most definitely due to the fact that I don't understand the language used in this ad, but heck, it caught my attention, and in the end, isn't that one of like the major parts to ads these days? And one last quick note that follows the theme here of today's show, the newest and last Twilight film is hitting the theaters this Friday, so if you're into those films, you're not gonna wanna miss the amazing ending to this movie franchise. Or if you hate these films, well, it's almost over, at least until the movie about the girl that falls in love with a zombie comes out. Okay, with all this talk about entertainment, I wanna know, where do you most enjoy watching movies? Is it in the theater, at home, or even on the go on a mobile device? Tell me in the comments section below or, of course, you can let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter, or Google+. Links to all that and the other articles that I talked about in today's show in the description below. And when you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe annotation in that corner? Then all of the newest episodes of Now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.